think all of you have heard me post up there about how Nick asked me what it's all about. I was asking for permission to marry Lexi. I kind of put that in. You have to ask me just something we all expected from, like I said, all their lives. And after he left, I was a little bit relieved because he didn't say, Ron, you're about to be a grandpa. <laughs> I told Lexi this was a uh, surprise song, but I don't think it will surprise her when she hears it. So, we're going to do it. Here we go. Ready? I've been throwing horseshoes over my left shoulder. I've spent most all my life searching for that four-leaf clover. Yet you run with me, chasing my rainbows. And honey, I love you too. And that's the way love goes. That's the way love goes, babe. That's the music God made for all the world to sing. It's never old, it grows. Losing makes me sorry. And you say, don't you worry. And honey, I love you too. And that's the way love goes. That's the way love goes, babe. That's the music God made for all the world to sing. It's never old, it grows. Losing makes me sorry. You say, don't you worry. And honey, I love you too. And that's the way love goes. And honey, I love you too. And that's the way love goes. In First John, 318 it says love not in words but in action and in truth like we talked earlier this summer marriage should not be full of expectations and needs rather a lifetime full of action honesty forgiveness sacrifice communication respect and love only happen by doing some days are easy others will be hard but your actions will reflect your relationship. So Nick and Lexi have prepared their own vows for us. And like always, I think it'd probably be best if Lexi went first. <laughs> Nick, when I first began writing my vows, I had a hard time figuring out what to say because what I feel for you is something I can't put into words. You and I have a unique and special bond that I feel deep in my heart every time I look at you. I'll never forget that moment sitting on your parents' couch telling me you got my brother's permission and asking me to be your girlfriend. In <laughs> that moment four years later on the coast telling me you got my father's permission and asking me to be your wife. You always helped me to be a better me. And I'm so lucky you've remained by my side through so many ups and downs no matter how high my stress level is or how loud my family is. <laughs> Nick, 
I vow to laugh with you every day and never go to bed angry. I vow to let you hunt and fish all you want, as long as, <laughs> as long as you vow to wear sunscreen and call me when you have service. I vow to be with you in times of sorrow, including every field goal Boise State misses. <laughs> I vow to make your happiness just as important as my own. I vow to give you every ounce of love in my heart and tell you every day how in love with you I am. Nick, your morals and foundations are so genuine and rare to find in this world. And the dedication and loyalty you have to everyone in your life blows me away every day. And I am 100% positive that I would not be half the person I am today if I didn't have you by my side. When life gets tough, one look in your eyes makes me remember what's important in life. And I can't wait to look into your eyes for the rest of my life. And I love you so much. <laughs> that, that's, that's why I think girls go for it. So. I love you. I can't begin to describe how much better my life is with you in it. I thank God that I have you in my life. And you've loved me when I didn't deserve it and you've made me a better person. In our four years together, we've been through a lot. We got to be close to each other when we were in college in Boise. We had to deal with long distance when I moved back home and you were still in school. Then you graduated and we got to come home and we learned the perks and the, the bad things about living with your roommates. Love you, mom and dad. <laughs> I really don't know how I got so lucky. I'm so excited for our future together, and my vows to you are, I vow to love you and stand by your side through good times and bad, to support you in everything you do, to be the best husband, father, and friend that I can be, to cherish and respect you, to help and encourage you in your successes and in your failures, and to do everything that I can each and every day to show you how much I love and care for you. Here we are. You've said your vows and exchanged the rings. And with God in our presence, and all of us family and friends here in unity, Nicholas Perry Stomp, Alexandra Noel Greenbank, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nick, you may kiss your bride. It is with great respect and happiness to pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Nick Staub.
Because yeah. Yeah.